Good morning, this is Dustin with Orlando Painters. We're here in the Conway area, here in Orlando, Florida. And we're painting the exterior of this house here. This is the Nelson residence. And we just painted their neighbor's house here. I think four or five months ago we painted that house there. The Colomer residence, and then this is their neighbor's house here, the Nelsons. We were going to go back to back on these projects, but they end up having to get a lot of stucco work done. So I referred them to a uh, real good stucco guy here in Orlando. And he redid their chimney, and there's patch marks all over the house. He did a really nice job. This is all Sherwin-Williams resilient satin. Pretty big house here. A little bit of a color change. He's going a little darker on the body than there is than it is now, and he's going a little lighter on the trim than it is now. So he's kind of reversing the colors. This house was all pressure washed last week, and uh, yesterday it was all prepped. All the windows covered. All the cracks filled. All the body uh, sealed and every one of these decorative trim pieces on this house I had the guys copy that all the way around the entire house it's wood and it was split away it was there was gaps around all the edges so uh, I had them caulk every single one of them just so there's no water intrusion problems another patch down there He had some fascia boards replaced. You see all the stucco on that chimney there. That was really bad. We'll do this whole inside porch area. Should be a dramatic uh, change in this house when we're done with the new color scheme. And he kind of Spent a couple bucks getting this place back in shape. We had to hand scrape all the fascia. We had peel and paint all over it. As you can see, you can see raw wood up there on that fascia there. If I zoom in, right there. And there's quite a bit of that on this house. And you can see that when this house was painted last or originally or whatever it was, that wood fascia was never primed first. And who knows what the last painter used for paint. There's so many things contractors do to, to shortcut customers. But you know, a lot of times that happens when, you know, it's hard. You're looking for, for reputable painting companies and you know, you never know what you're gonna get. So you really need to do your due diligence and just because a guy's cheaper, you know, that usually is not a good sign when a guy is like a lot cheaper than somebody else is. That means in order for him to make any money, he has to take shortcuts. He's not gonna let you know that, of course, but there's a lot of things you can do. I mean, like that, when I see that wasn't primed, and then I see that paint's peeling, that probably wasn't 100% acrylic paint. It may even been interior paint, especially the way it faded. Interior paint's cheaper than exterior paint, so and you would never know it, you know. And just the guy's buying paint, and he's buying cheap paint from Home Depot or something, and putting it in the Sherman Williams buckets that he has, you know, from maybe for a, uh, a different project. So uh, you look outside and you see all these Sherman Williams buckets out there, like top of the line premium Sherman Williams paint, and it's not. It's actually cheap paint that somebody's hiding, you know, and they're putting it in a Sherman Williams bucket. That happens a lot. And a lot of times, you know, I'll have customers call me and say, hey, I got a price cheaper. And you know, I mean, my, my prices are what they are. I mean, you know, I know what my daily labor is. I know how much materials are gonna cost and I know how long it's gonna take to do the job. And I'm not here to rip anybody off at all. I'm here to do quality work and, and quantity. So 
someone says, oh, someone was $500 cheaper. Well, yeah, I don't know that they're carrying workers' comp like us. I don't know that they're carrying a big general liability insurance policy like us. I don't know if we're using, you know, the same exact products. You know, there's, there's a lot of things to take into consideration when you're hiring a contractor. I mean, just because the guy's price is cheaper. If you're price shopping, more than likely you're gonna end up getting, you know, you're gonna end up getting a, a cheap paint job or the, the right materials aren't gonna be used or he doesn't have proper insurances and stuff like that. So, I mean, I've been in the business for 27 years and I'm third generation in fact, so. I know what it takes to do projects. But a lot of guys put, they'll use interior paint on here. You know, that's gonna save them a little bit of money. They're gonna buy cheaper paint and put it into Sherman Williams buckets. That's gonna save them some money. Them not having proper insurances. Obviously they don't have to incur the cost of that, that overhead. So, and this is probably what that customer got at one point. I don't, I don't have any idea, but usually when you're probably price shopping, kind of that's what happens. People are not being truthful with you and they got to find a way to shortcut you without you knowing and you've been in the business long enough, you know how to shortcut somebody without them ever knowing about it. So just be careful when you're hiring a contractor here in Central Florida. But the house is all prepped. The guys are starting to paint. I think I have four guys here today on this house. We should, tomorrow I'll probably put five guys on here, maybe six. I wanna make sure we get this house done by the end of the day tomorrow. I think it's supposed to rain on Thursday and maybe into Friday, so. I don't wanna leave this guy, you know, three quarters of the way done until Saturday or Monday or whenever we, we would be able to come back. So I like to stay on a project, get it done move on to the next one. I don't like to bounce around. I have another commercial project going on right now in another house, but I want to get those all wrapped up. At least the two residentials I want to get wrapped up by the end of the day tomorrow. The commercial job is a big job, so we'll be on there for about a month. But it should look great. I'll make a final video when we're done at the end of the day tomorrow. Show you our uh, final product. Show you what kind of work Orlando Painters does. We're just real meticulous, real neat, clean, organized. But again, this is Dustin with Orlando Painters, April 12th, 2016, here in Conway, in Orlando, off of uh, Conway Road and Lake, Lake Margaret. Thanks for watching this short little video, uh, another one of our residential exterior painting projects. Thank you and have a great week.